welcome back to Julia. I'm Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new version of Google Assistant currently available on Android 12 beta 5 that we should expect to see more widely with the official release of Android 12. So for now I'm going to call it Google Assistant version 3. Most of you might think it's all about how it looks but after digging deeper I found some hidden features that I'm going to share with you. Also I'm going to talk about what to expect in the future and the new visual changes. So without further ado let's jump in. The first change I'm going to show you when you open any article on the web specifically on Google Chrome and then trigger your Google Assistant you will see two new shortcuts at the bottom. The first one is called read which will trigger the read aloud feature and it will start reading the article automatically for you. The second one is called lens and the tapping on it will simply take a screenshot from the web page and start searching for information. And by the way, those two shortcuts only appear in Google Chrome. Even if you try to open an article in Google app and then trigger your Google Assistant, you won't see the same. The second change is the removal of the snapshot button from Google Assistant card. And now you can see a screenshot from the previous version showing this button here at the bottom left corner. But now we only have the keyboard icon. The next change is now when I say the word thank you after any command, Google Assistant will respond to this. So let me show you an example. Open YouTube. Thank you. Glad you found me helpful. Let me know if there's anything I can do. So you will usually get different phrases each time. Sometimes it says not a problem. Sometimes it says my pleasure and so on and so forth. But previously saying the word thank you will simply stop your Google Assistant immediately. Now let's talk about the visual changes. The most obvious difference is the removal of the translucent design. But instead Google Assistant shows as a floating card with a solid background. And the logo is using only the black color instead of Google colors like before. And when you start your command you will see a noticeably bigger font and the loading animation is much faster and more prominent than before. The suggestions will appear in rounded rectangles instead of a pill-shaped design. And if your command is related to movies like what's new on Netflix for example, you will get a totally different interface. You will see all the movies in a grid view with much bigger thumbnails instead of the web-based interface from Google search with a carousel at the top. And you will also see a redesigned keyboard button at the bottom right corner. And here's how it looks in dark theme. The new design is also available on my Pixel 4a running Android 11 but there are some differences between them. First, the background color is different because on Android 12 it matches the device theme which is not the case on Android 11. Google Assistant logo is not using the same black color like on Android 12. The information card and the suggestions no longer have borders around them in Android 12. But this is not everything. Google still has some useful features to add to the list and the first one is called Quick Phrases. As per XDA developers, Google Assistant will be able to stop or dismiss your alarms without using the magic word. All you need to do is to say the word stop or snooze and the action will be taken. Similarly, the same can be done for phone calls using the answer and decline commands. If you are lucky enough to get the feature, you will see a new menu item under Google Assistant settings called the quick phrases. From here, you can activate or deactivate the feature for one or both of them. If you decided to go ahead and use it, Google will warn you that your calls might be answered unintentionally. That could happen in cases like if you said the word answer without noticing that your phone is ringing, if someone else said the same word, or if Google Assistant detected something sounds similar to the word answer. And as per 9 to 5 Google, more commands might be added to the feature as shown now on the screen, but they will only be available for other Google Assistant devices like smart speakers for example, while mobile phones will only stick to alarms and calls for now. So if you want to take a closer look at the list of quick phrases, I'm going to leave the article link in the description below. Another reported feature by XDA developers is the Assistant powered voice typing in Gboard. I had the same feature on my Pixel 5 before, but suddenly Google decided to remove it for everyone without specifying the reasons. With that said, some folks at the Google News Telegram group were able to activate the feature after spoofing their device to be the Pixel 6 Pro and they share the video with the feature in action. First, it has an animated microphone icon while activated, another button on the left that looks like help with a phrase in the middle saying speak now to voice type. And once you stop talking it will suggest some actions for you to modify your text like the word clear which will delete everything or the word undo to revert back your action. They also shared tons of other commands that can be used like send, stop, delete and more. It can be used to add emojis by saying their names. There is another set of commands for forms and emails like next to move to the next text field, set recipient to choose the contact you want to send the email to and more. 
I will leave the link for this article in the description below to go through them if you want. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in the newer version of Google Assistant. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.